hi guys welcome to my channel or back to my channel i just wanted to um, pop in and do a quick little intro for this video i guess as kind of like a disclaimer if you are a beginner witch or you just got into spirituality i wanted to say that you do not need an altar hey i mean even if you've been doing this for years you don't need an altar um to each their own the power and the energy all comes from you and these are just tools to kind of enhance that or to help manifest it but again please don't go out and just buy everything you can especially when you're a beginner because you don't really know um what your path is going to be and what you might be into so my suggestion um is just to kind of take your time and see um where it goes and you know start small I have been interested in this stuff for many, many years now, and I've kind of accumulated all these things. Um, and once I moved out, I decided, you know what, I really lo would love to just have a space to kind of keep everything organized and pretty. And I love to just meditate in front of my altar and journal. I fill out my book of shadows, which is actually um, on my notes app in my phone, um, and just vibe. It's really fun. And yeah. So yeah, just to just remember, you don't need an altar, um, and I'm not doing filming this video obviously to show off or brag. Um, I love watching these videos, and you know maybe you guys are just you know looking for some inspiration on how to organize it, or you're like me, you just like watching altar tours. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my content. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay, hey, so I'm popping in really quick just to say there is a lot of wax on my altar, and I wasn't really aware of how bad it looked because I can't really see well. Um, so now I'm looking into getting like a altar cloth so it doesn't look terrible. I promise I clean it, it's just your girl uses a lot of candles and I mean it doesn't really bother me but because you know I can't see but yeah I'm aware of it now and I will <laughs> look into getting an altar cloth <laughs> kind of embarrassed um I mean honestly it really doesn't matter if it you know it's my altar but yeah okay moving on enjoy the video so I'm just gonna get right into it do a little quick pan but yes this idea to have a cubicle setup is actually from pinterest i will try and um link the photo i was inspired by it was not my idea um it looks you know quite a bit different from the actual photo but i did get the idea of having the little cubes online just because i thought it'd be a really um cute way to display stuff and just keep everything organized so I'm going to start off on this side. This is kind of where I keep um, my crystals with like feminine energy. Um, so these good, these crystals are good for like divination, um, connecting to the angel realm, connecting with your spirit guides, dreaming, all that kind of stuff. Increasing psychic abilities, sleep. So over here I have um, my little cauldron. I actually got this from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. I really like it because it has a tree of life symbol and I feel like a lot of little cauldrons have like um, the pentacles, which is fine, but I prefer the tree of life. I love the tree of life. Then over here I just have this little um, heart shaped like trinket box. Actually um, belonged to my grandmother. So it's really nice to have something of hers um, on here. I have a the moon card from my deck. I am looking for the actual, like an artwork that's the moon card to represent the moon. Um, so I actually have this card back in my deck, but for now I just have that. And again, I have like selenite, opalite, angel, aura quartz, more selenite clear quartz if you guys want um a crystal collection video let me know 
um but yeah that's this side pretty cute and then here like in the middle i have these candles to represent the chakras um so anytime i want to like meditate or i just feel like i need like a cleanse on one of my chakras i'll use that or i'll use all of them at once and it goes along with these chakra flags i have above my altar yes um this is a piece of coral from the beach this is a big old raw ro rose quartz so pretty i have a selenite wand i know <laughs> there's a bunch of wax and stuff on here i tried cleaning it all the time but whatever i really don't it doesn't bother me i use a lot of candles these little like wax things i don't even know what these are they came in a bath bomb from my lush christmas gift so i just put them on here because i thought they were cute and they are glow in the dark so it's just a star and a moon and moving on to here these are my like protective crystals my fire energy crystals um these have more of like masculine energy to them so i have the sun tarot card and then i have a bunch of different like protective crystals um so i have um this is obsidian bloodstone malachite a bunch of black tourmaline one of my favorites i think this is solomon agate i have a garnet yellow onyx so a bunch of little things and then my amethyst cluster right there in the back i have this little leaf funny story with this is that one day i walked into my bathroom and it was just sitting in my bathtub and the reason why it's so weird is that i have a screen on our window that does not come off like at all you can't lift it or anything so i don't know how it got in there but it did and it was in perfect condition and it has like a little seed on it and i just felt like it was a gift from um mother nature and i just think it's so pretty so i just keep it on here and i have a little piece of bark from a sycamore tree um moving on we have the cubicles so for this first one here this is just where i keep my moon water, my Florida water, typically it's in the bathroom right now, but I typically keep it, keep it, blah, blah. I can't talk, sorry guys. <laughs> I keep it here. And then I have like pieces of corals and seashells cause you know, water and a smudge spray that I made. And then moving on, this is where I kind of keep my tools. I have this, I actually made this myself, but it's a rosemary, smudge thick um i'm gonna leave two articles below explaining why you shouldn't be using um white sage and palo santo unless you are native american or indigenous um and it's a part of your culture it's actually a closed practice um so that's why i've been transitioning into using different things like cedar and rosemary and i'll link those articles below i think it's really important that we educate ourselves, especially if you are, you know, a beginner witch or you are just starting spiritual practices. It's really important to, you know, where, know where all these things come from and these practices come from and their customs and be respectful. So, yes, that's that. I have a little candle smoth. Okay, so as I was saying, this is little candle snuffer there's this um kind of like misconception in the witch community that you cannot blow out your candles because it's seen as disrespectful to the fire element or it blows away your intention that is not a hard and fast rule it depends on what you're using the candle for for example if it's like a banishing spell or a ritual it's actually could be good to blow out that candle. So it just kind of depends on what you're doing and always follow your gut. And that's just kind of my tip with that. But I do use this, the snuffer, when I'm doing like um, 
like meditation or to just put out these candles. Uh, then I have a mortar and pestle, some little like, I think, yeah, this little cool like Harry Potter wand pen and then like scissors. So this is like my tools area. Over here, I have my like special jewelry, so crystal jewelry and amulets that I like to kind of cleanse and charge. I have this little bowl that I just keep like crystal earrings or amulet earrings, things that, you know, are kind of special and need to be cleansed or charged. So my little jewelry area, moving on, this is kind of miscellaneous, but I have my giant tarot deck and this is so awesome i'm visually impaired so i was looking for so long for either a deck that had like tactile markers on it or something that was really big and i finally found this on i think it was amazon actually and it's just the traditional tarot deck but it's huge and i absolutely love it i think it's so cool and pretty and yeah then i have my little thumb piano or kalimba the vibrations are so pretty and calming i love to do this before i meditate or any time of the day where i just kind of want to calm down and be mindful it's so so pretty um it's really not that expensive if you order from amazon um so beautiful and then i just have some like harry potter stationery and stuff so yep and then down here this is kind of a mess i'm always organizing it and it always ends up getting messed up anyway so i just am like whatever at this point um i'm probably gonna get like some organ organizational things like little baskets um, but for now, this is what it looks like. This is just where I keep all my dried herbs. So I have like lavender petals, mugwort, um, basil, rosemary, rose petals, a bunch of different stuff. And I also keep my um, some cones here for joints. And then moving on, this is where I keep my essential oils and some intestines in here. I love using essential oils for my diffuser, for my hair, for my um, body. There's so many uses to it. Then moving on, I have this little box that I just keep like candles, random stuff. And then this box is actually from Lush. It's, it was a gift set. And I'm using it as kind of like my manifestation slash like dream box. So that's pretty cool. And then right here, I just have this little lotus um, incense holder, and I'm just burning some incense. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my altar tour. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, go ahead and comment, you know, your favorite part. Give this video a like. Your feedback means so much to me. And, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, whatever time it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. So I thought I would insert this um, little clip of what my altar looks like at night with all the candles on. Because it's my absolute favorite time to use my altar. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.